gosh, oh my gosh, where is it? The rug, the rug, the rug. Fire. Armor. Sledgehammer. Rug. One letter. Got the clue. I'm supposed to be filming my video. <laughs> I can't stop playing! You guys, I am so addicted with this game. I'm so sorry, I'm supposed to be filming my Friday whoop whoops. This should be a favorite. Hi everybody, welcome back to my Friday whoop whoops. And I guess I'll start off with something that I cannot stop playing. And it is this new game. <laughs> if a lot of you don't know, I used to be a secret gamer. And the way that I say that is that back in the day when I was in high school, even before that, what am I talking about? I started playing games, video games, since I was like four years old. Uh, I, I loved video games. I've always loved video games, and I have a true obsession for them, and I get addicted. My latest one is called Agent Alice. You can download it on iPhones, iPads, and Androids. I'll link it down below. Oh my god. I can't stop playing it. It's like the cutest game. So Agent Alice is basically, basically, basically a obviously an agent her name is Alice and she helps out solve out all these mysteries and you get to tap things and find them within the picture your time do you have cash and energy and you go through all these things the graphics are really cute and it's basically like really fun for me because I like reading all the story it's like okay what next what are we gonna go on to it is so addicting it's like one of those things that you can't stop playing and she helps just like uh, find different objects and it's like giving you the clues and evidence to a crime that happened so you have to download it so you know what the crime is and I don't know it's just like so fun and colorful and intrigues you and she goes like all over the globe so again I'm gonna link Agent Alice down below you're gonna have fun let me know if you download it and if you get addicted like me because this is like a fun game where you can like play anywhere so yeah there is Agent Alice. So here are the different episodes. I'm only up to number two, so I have to get all of those. So I like it because, watch, I'll show you the very beginning. This one I only got two out of three stars. This one's like one out of three. Watch, I think this is the very beginning. Oh, yeah, the dressing room. So this is the very beginning, like where the whole crime started. Again, just download. And so then it'll have like these things like corsets. So you click corset, sunglasses. Oh, my gosh, where are the sunglasses? It's hard to look through the viewfinder. Oh, right there. Uh, the wine glass, found that quick. Uh, cushions, right there. And then dance, dancer statue, is it that? Oh wait, dancer statue, oh right there. And then it'll say perfume, where's the perfume, right there. Hairbrush, right there. Fedora, yeah yeah. And then I'll have scene completed, but like, Everything you go through is basically like a whole story like it's really cute like as you keep going has like a whole animation Back to my story though. I used to be a secret gamer because especially when I was in high school uh, I wasn't necessarily like the coolest person But I wasn't necessarily the one who wasn't invited places, but when I wasn't really feeling like a party hey Then what I would do is I would go to a cyber lab <laughs> I just said that I would go to a cyber lab that one of my friends introduced me to and I went and I started playing all these different games and sniping games and all of that and I got so obsessed that I started going during the weekday and during the weekends where I was seriously one of the only girls that would go there I would have like my little card I'd get a stamp I'd come with my orange or fruit punch Gatorade and a brand new package of Starburst and I was set. So I've always been really into video games. I don't know what it is, but I truly love them. And again, I'll link Agent Alice down below because I don't know, maybe it would be fun if we we're like both playing the same game and then you can let me know through social media like what stage you're on. I think that would be fun. Okay, so now let's move on to another favorite. A lot of you keep asking me what's in my nature box and I'm telling you, the past two weeks I have not been able to go to the gym more regularly. I, I'm still trying to push, I'm still trying to eat healthy, so what's been helping me is nature box because I'm telling you, all these things that I've been trying and doing, nature box is my favorite. Uh, just because the size of the snacks and I feel like out of all the subscriptions I've tried this truly is my favorite because all the snacks are always different I tend to kind of gravitate towards the same ones, but 
but I just like having the healthy snacks already in my cupboard, cupboard instead of, I don't know what it is about me shopping for them. I'm just like, uh, if it's like, if I have like the fatty snacks right there and the healthy, I, I'm really bad. I can't be like, okay, only healthy. It's like, oh, and one bad snack. I got this month the jalapeno white cheddar popcorn, jalapeno herbs. Mm. If you have Nature Box, which so many of you have said that you love Nature Box, if you like like a little spice in your life, definitely try this one. Also, I'm gonna link Nature Box down below. I don't get commission from this. I legit just truly love this subscription. Blueberry Greek yogurt pretzels. I wanted to try the strawberry ones, but I said I love the blueberry one so much. I'll try maybe strawberry next month, so I can't get enough of those. So that's kind of like my sweet treat. Now when I kind of want like a snack in between, I have my whole wheat figgy bars and I had the strawberry ones last month so then I wanted to try raspberry because I'm someone where I like to eat the same things and if I know I like it, I'll try a different flavor. Okay, say like for this tank top, I have this tank top in white, a white, a pure white, a cream, a burgundy, and an emerald green, and a black. Two in black. Once I like something, I just buy the same of it and this is from Forever 21, I forgot one I got. It. But um, these little figgy bars, these ones are raspberry. And remember, I told you they taste like Fig Newtons. This is a new one I tried, and I absolutely love this one. This one is Big Island Pineapple. It's super flavorful. It's legit like Hawaii in your mouth. Ugh, I wish, I really wish, I really want to go back to Maui, but Glenn hasn't been to Oahu, and I really want him to go, so... I think we're gonna be planning that trip soon. Uh huh. And then, of course, a lot of you know I obviously love blueberry. I'm obsessed with blueberry anything, and I have the sweet blueberry almonds. And this is what it looks like. If you check out the link down below, you get to try out a free box of nature. You get to try out a free box from Nature Box itself, and it's gonna include all their most popular snacks. So you're not gonna be able to customize it yourself like I can, unless you get like the real subscription. But if you want to try out some of the snacks just to get like a little taste of roux, a lot of you have taken advantage of my video from the Gerard Cosmetics. Thank you so much for really supporting me. It's really, really like. I really truly appreciate your support because that's why I like being honest with you and just telling you guys true reviews and I'm glad that you guys support me and then help me out at the same time because I do get commission from that so again thank you so much what's really cool some of you were telling me that you get paid on Wednesday or Thursday and the code ends on Wednesday so I contacted them I'm really just like with them and I said hey you know can we do something about our codes and they said you know what we're gonna extend it to the whole month of March and then that's it so make sure you take advantage because you're gonna get free shipping and then all those crazy codes I have the codes for $30 for three lipsticks I have $20 for the two lip glosses I'm gonna link everything down below and I have a full video so you can see the swatches of the new colors and guess what they came out with one more color now let me show you the great Reveal grape soda in the house woo, woo. Grape soda they came out with a purple lipstick Someone just well not someone a couple of you commented saying man. I really wish that they would come out with some purples Well, bam so here's the color right here, and I'm super excited because I don't have heroin I never jumped on that bandwagon for some reason. I just wasn't one where I don't know I just felt like I kept selling out selling out selling out I knew it was gonna be ended up being a permanent color, which I think it is, but now I have this purple and I don't need it. So yeah, um, I'm excited about this one. It's super smooth. Again, a really nice soft satiny finish. It's not matte, it's not gonna make your lips dry out or anything like that. So those are all the favorites I love from the lip glosses. My favorite is Nude, Buttercream, Pink Tiara, and Raspberry. I can tell you from the top of my head because I wear those ones all the time. Oh, and Shimmer of Hope. So if you want to take advantage, the code is until the end of the month. And again, I'm so happy a lot of you have had great experiences with Gerard. Uh, just contact him and they help you out. Like some girls have already contacted me saying they had a handwritten letter, all that good stuff. And again, just keep positive, stay positive. And I love you guys. Boop. I made it seem like I was going somewhere. I'm still here. I'm not done. Time is around the corner and so is summer. I'm so excited because I just love... I just love hot weather. I love being out in the sun. I love being in the beach, all that good stuff. One thing that I don't, that I do lack in, which I will admit, is dealing with SPF. And I don't have, I have some foundations with SPF. And I don't have one SPF in like a beach bag that I have. I have like a beach makeup bag. Yes, I said that. Don't trip, chocolate chip. What I'm really happy of is this Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield. This has an SPF of 30. I've never had 
any primer with FP SPF in it, it besides the Smashbox one, which I didn't really care for because it really lumped around my face for some reason. It left like little small little balls. I don't know why. What I think is really cool or pretty badass is the top on how you kind of open and close it. So you just switch it back and forth. And this is actually a pump right here. So you just pump it out. It's, I don't want to get right there. And it's just a silicone primer right there it's just clear and it's so silky if you guys can get your hands on this you want to try it i highly recommend it and it has an spf of 30. it says it treats blurs and protects obviously it's going to have awesome protection as far as treats and blurs murad is like my go-to skincare for everything like i have a skincare video that i keep saying i'm going to do I want to make it a little bit more creative and really cute where it's kind of like a live skincare instead of saying, I do this to tone, I do this underneath my eye, I do this on my neck kind of thing. So I wanted to do it more like a scenario when I'm about to literally do my skincare routine so it's like live and it's true. You know what I'm saying? Back to the product. This thing is so silky. It really goes into your pores when you tap it in. Once you place your BB cream or foundation or anything, it's like, woo! Yes. So if you're looking for a primer that's really nice and silky with SPF protection, I highly recommend this one. It is awesome. Say hello to my little friend. This is my Too Faced heart that is called the Too Faced Soulmates. This is Ross and Rachel. And oh my gosh. This is just like the cutest little packaging ever. I love anything hearts. I'm like super girly. And it's a bronzer and a blush in one. I'm in love with this bronzer. It might look like it's a little bit orangey in the camera, but it's not. I use this actually to bronze up my face and to bring this just in the hollows of my cheeks right there and I it looks you makes you look really sun-kissed I have a Too Faced video that I'm gonna plan to film this weekend to post it for next week and I wanted to mainly focus on all the Too Faced products that I have just so I can really tell you my true opinion and review on different things and this blush right here is so cute you just dab in just like a little small dual fiber or anything like that and it fits right in there uh, I'm obsessed with this thing it's really awesome I highly suggest the Rachel and Ross one it's so cute. Okay, so my eyebrows. I realized I was starting to make myself look a little bit too bold with some of my eyebrow looks. I love to experiment, but again, I'm so sorry I can't help because I try different things all the time. I feel like my eyebrow game kind of like lost some cred, some street cred, because they're getting so bold. And when I do these bold looks, I put on bold brows, but sometimes I can just get out of hand with the pomade and all that stuff. What I've been using on my brows, let me let me have you come right here. What I've been using on my brows now, let's focus please. What I've been using on my brows is now the NYX, uh, the, what is this? The Micro Brow Pencil in Brunette. If you can see it looks a lot more natural now. Now these look like actual hairs. Ignore my oiliness please. Just ignore it. My brows have looked so much better using this pencil. I'm using the color Brunette, and it is seriously a dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is more of a waxier formula, but I actually appreciate this more because I feel like it holds my hairs in place with the wax more. I feel like the pigment stays on my eyebrows even longer when I'm like sweating or really hot or anything like that and I truly think it's really easy to blend as well like I said I think this is an awesome dupe uh, let me know thumbs this up if you want me to do my new eyebrow routine and to show this in comparison with the Anastasia one I can do like one brow and the other I think you would really appreciate that video so let me know down below if you're tired of seeing brow routines I'll understand because I know there's a lot now for my womp. Should have addressed this probably like two weeks ago or three weeks ago when I, about a week ago, a week ago. Sorry. <laughs> One of my womps has to be the Bye Bye Under Eye from It Cosmetics. When I did my get ready, trust me girls and guys, I knew that ish looked really bad. Once I saw the footage, I was like, wow, that looks, it looked too light and it wasn't even that it was too light. It was too cakey. This is so thick underneath the eye. Oh my god. I don't like it. And it creases underneath the eye like crazy. It was just not a good look. Just checking if there are any smells. So yeah, that concealer is just not the business. Don't go purchase it. It is way too thick. There's no way that that thing can set because, I don't know, I try with the warmth of my finger after and all that. It's like a, I just, 
No. So that was all my Friday whoop whoop. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys have an awesome Friday. And I hope you have a great weekend as well. And I will see you guys in my next one. Mwah. Whoop whoop. And all of you have been missing Nani. She was right behind me the whole entire time sleeping. Life is so hard for her.